I will make this as short and sweet as possible and feel free to unsubscribe right below, okay? Because I'll make this real quick. I'm not being mean, not being dickish. But listen, there's a lot of stuff going around. I heard it today on a repeater. And uh, they said, oh, Eric, have you heard they're taking away our 70 centimeter spectrum? No, they're not. Okay, no, they're not. Here's what's really, in five minutes, I'm going to answer the question that they posted online that says, what does this actually mean for us as the amateur radio community? That's the answer you need to hear. Okay, so AST Space Mobile, okay, is a satellite communications company who is proposing to the FCC for the 70 centimeter amateur radio band from 430 megahertz to 440 megahertz. Okay, stop. For what? For backup satellite telemetry tracking and telecommand between ground stations and its satellites. That means when their primary frequencies and bands fail to work in emergency situations, their backup fallback would be proposed in 430 to 440. Now, there are reports that people, or there are reports from people that they're already using this, but that has ceased in the 70 centimeter band from 430 to 440 because of the huge outcry of the hams. Now, listen, what does this mean for ham radio? What this means is exactly what I said 20 years ago when I got my ham license. Use it or lose it. It's very simple. There's people on repeater networks today that were in a panic because they're afraid it's gonna knock out their UHF, D-Star, or DMR, or analog repeaters. It's not, okay? Why'd they pick 430 to 440? The proof is right online because it is an underutilized portion of the spectrum. I have one, two, three, four, uh, five radios that will do UHF single sideband, you know, in that 432 range, you know, also satellites, EME moon bounce. I'm doing moon bounce outside. What's the actual evidence? I cannot ever find anybody on UHF CW or single sideband or AM for that matter. There's lots of hams doing satellites. However, there's a lot of hams that never even knew you can do the satellites. I can get on moon bounce. I can get on the pages, the loggers, the chat pages, and there might be 10 to 15 people on a de-expedition. When there's a huge station, there might be 10 to 15 people on there. In the course of a day, there might be 100 people, 150 people worldwide trying EME moon bounce. That's why I'm having so much of a struggle because I had to use that antenna outside uh, with my 705 and the Mirage UHF amplifier um, in order to make that moon bounce to, uh, oh God, I can't remember his name now. He's in Massachusetts, but I got the QSL card somewhere, uh, wherever. Anyways, so well, where's that, where's it going with this? Well, everybody says, oh no, <laughs> ask, ask your fellow ham, okay? Ask your fellow ham and say, hey, you want to get on some UHF sideband tonight? You want to have a sideband? Oh, I didn't even know people do that. That's what happens. Everybody is focused on repeaters, okay? And why do you think they didn't propose to use 440 to 450? Because there's a lot of activity with repeaters there, but not as much activity as repeaters on two meters. We all know that, okay? UHF um, has a great, when they studied the, the propagation, um, you know, the way that works with, with UHF, that's why satellites are in UHF, that's why there's a lot of ground stations and, and space and space stations in UHF because of the, the uh, you know, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Not propagation, but the, you know, the, the, the conditions, you know what I mean? Okay. Like you wouldn't want to have a 47 megahertz satellite, right? No, of course not, of course not. So here's where it comes down to. Um, you know, popular on UHF for FM repeaters and digital repeaters, digital voice communications, okay? And you go down to 430 to 440, you're, you're talking satellites, EME, and sideband, and ATV. Who? I will, I will send you a gift if you tell me anybody today that is using amateur television in August 2025. You won't find anybody. Won't find anybody. The equipment's on eBay. The equipment's on QTH.com. Nobody buys it, okay? That's a great portion 
in that lower 420 something megahertz, okay? They, for this Yaesu radio back in the day, they had ATV uh, add-ons for this. They had ATV add-ons for that 1200 megahertz and that 400 megahertz uh, ICOM radio. I'm not mad at anybody. Here's the thing. This actually would affect someone like me because I use satellites a lot. I do EME moon balance and I'm constantly, constantly trying to find somebody to start up a UHF single sideband net or do some UHF, you know, uh, um, like I do on two meters when they had the VHF and up contests, right? You, you can get on six meters and, and make contacts on FT8 or whatever mode you want, the voice, whatever. Then you can go to two meters, you, you know, there's a few people. Then you go to UHF, there's nobody. There's nobody on UHF doing any kind of single sideband whatsoever. The people that are going to comment below before they unsubscribe are going to say, hey, I'm that guy. I do it. I didn't say you didn't. But I bought this radio specifically to have 1,200 megahertz and UHF all mode in the box. This does 6 meters, 2 meters, 440, and 1.2 gig all mode. FM, sideband, CW, upper side, lower side. I, I will mainly use that for maybe a contact on UHF for moon bounce, maybe next year if we get somebody out there, you know what I mean? Um, a lot of the, 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 the radios, um, like I have the 7100 in my truck, right? I use that for HF a lot. When the band is open um, and when you get band conditions and spring enhancement or, you know, March, February, March, April, and I could work from here to Alabama or Arkansas on two meters while mobile, well, somebody said, I got the horizontal loop on top of the truck. It does UHF and VHF. Someone says, you'll never, ever use that on UHF. Why wouldn't you come up with something different? Nobody's on UHF single sideband. Point is this. I said this a long time ago because it happened to the 220 megahertz band. It has happened to various other bands, okay? Nobody is out to get you. This is not our bands. Number one, we are secondary users to the amateur radio 70 centimeter band, which means we cannot cause interference to the primary users of that band. And we cannot, we, we, we gotta work together. Okay. Cannot, we must accept any interference and we cannot cause interference. That's always been like that. The FCC made us secondary users. So we've all knew that that's okay. But nobody ever thought that that would be a problem. That's why nobody talked about it until somebody makes a video or something and says, oh my God, they're taking our 70 centimeter band. Nobody's taking nothing. If it's there and nobody's using it, why not? Does that make sense? It's getting, by the way, I haven't been, I haven't drank in five months. So don't blame it on that. I quit drinking five months ago. Congratulations to me, right? Um, <clears throat> I took a step back from YouTube for a couple months and um, that's all I really wanted to tell you. They're, Planning a constellation of 248 low Earth orbit non-geostationary satellites. But the request for telemetry tracking telecommand between ground stations and satellites, I feel, went huge with a sparked debate because automatically people thought they were taken off because they, they're after us. Put your tinfoil hats on. Wrong. Okay. It's going to suck if that happens because there are frequencies in the single sideband, specifically terrestrial, satellites, and EME moon bounce that would be right in there. That would really screw up my chances of making contacts, but the fact that there's not hardly anybody out there on the UHF sideband swinging a beam around, talking across your state, well, then <laughs> look at it as a standpoint of engineering and, and, and scientific data. And just pretend that this pad right here is scientific data. And somebody says, oh my gosh, there's this huge gap up here, which is part of this band, but nobody uses this. Maybe we could squeeze in there. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying I want them to do it, but they didn't do nothing wrong. I don't even know the company. I just heard about this today. I did some research on Google and that's what you get. Use it or lose it. And no, they're not taking away your amateur radio rights because it's going all over the internet. We're in jeopardy. All the, what about the, <laughs> this one's the best. What about the thousands of dollars of radio? I'll never be able to talk on 70 centimeters again. Who the hell said that? And are you talking on 70 centimeters on single sideband or satellites? 
or moon balance, because if you're not, it doesn't affect you. It affects people like me. People like Ben down the road in Coco, who just bought one of these radios as well. And I've yet to meet up with him because he's back and forth, you know, from HF to UHF. But he'll get on and say, yeah, we had a, a great, uh, you know, uh, time trying UHF on single side. Man, there's nobody out there. I said, hey, whoa, whoa, I'm out here. Let me get, you know, my radio set up, whatever. And I've had a chance to try, but... Um, so, okay, big deal. From Kennedy Space Center to Fort Pierce, there's two guys that are using UHF. Now, take that and scale it up. How many people in the United States do you think are using 430 to 440? I mean, your biggest primary group is going to be satellites. And those are cool. That would suck if we do have whatever this AST Space Mobile is, you know, for their cellular-based constellation. That would suck if it was right there when you're trying to work a a linear satellite, you know what I mean? The tracker outside or even handheld and sideband and here comes this shit, right? No, that, that would suck. But just don't freak out and, th and think you have the answer because you saw it on the internet, okay? That's, I mean, hopefully this answer makes the most sense. From the little bit of information that I got today that chose, prompted me to go online and, and, and look this up, I gave you the honest facts. That's it, that's all I gotta say. Uh, whatever. Unsubscribe button's right there. The thumbs down is right there. Either way, it's an interaction and an engagement. Don't care. But I said nothing wrong to get anybody pissed off. And I said all what is right. This radio sits useless on UHF because that portion of the spectrum is not being used. If it's not being used, use it or lose it. Why wouldn't they take 20 meters, guys? Because it's booked with FTA. Why wouldn't they take 2 meters, 144 to 148? Because there's a lot of activity on there. Why... You know, why, why would they take 430 to 440? Because there's nobody there. So, see ya.